Carlos, how are you all? It was so good to see so many of you in our Zoom meeting. And for those of you who couldn't make it, that's okay. Just have your mommies and daddies contact Miss Tammy or Miss Jessica and we'll connect you for a fun time of worship. Now, before I call Miss Lean to go over the classroom rules and time for worship, I see that we have some new friends. And you boys and girls, what do we do when we have new friends? We give a big special hello. Okay, so let's go call Miss Lean. Hi, Puggles. Are you guys ready to sing the doobie rules with me this morning? You are? Yay! All right, now for our doobie rules, we're gonna need our special friend, Doobie. Now, let's see. Where is Doobie? Hmm, where's Doobie? <gasps> there he is. Hi, Doobie. Are you ready to help us sing your doobie rules this morning? You are? Great. Now, let's set you down right here so you can help us go over some of your rules, all right? All right, are you guys ready? Great. So Doobie says that we have to be a listener, be a watcher, be a friend, be kind, be a listener, be a watcher, be a friend, be kind. Yay! Great job, everyone. And thank you, Doobie, for helping us go over our Doobie rules. We'll see you next week. Bye! All right, after our doobie rolls, it's time for our Vineyard Kids Be On Time song. So, are you guys ready to sing the song with me? All right. I've got the Vineyard Kids enthusiasm up in my head. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my feet, I've got the Vineyard Kids enthusiasm all over me. And I will be on time. Great job, everyone. And great job on being on time this Sunday. Now, after our Be On Time song, we go into our Puggles theme song. So, can everyone stand up for me, please? Can everyone stand up? And let's get ready to sing our Puggles theme song together. All right? Great. You know it's true, Puggles. God loves me and you, Puggles. So what do we do, Puggles? We get together. everyone. Now, let's get ready for worship. So, can everyone fold your hands, close your eyes, bow your heads, and repeat after me? Dear Jesus, thank you for today, and let us worship you with all of our hearts, with all of our minds, with all of our strength and with all of our soul. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, let's get ready to worship.
your mommies and daddies scan here or visit our church up here so let's be triple givers and donate to god's kingdom i'll see you in class Here are the review questions from last week. What are these kids reading? 
Yes, the Bible. What is it like when we learn something from the Bible? It's like getting a piece of treasure because it helps us know Him. And the bonus question, why do we want to learn about the Bible? To learn the story of God's love for us. Great job, Puggles. I'll see you in class. Hi, Mr. Hi, boys and girls. Hi, Mr. Puggles, Miss Sydney, and Miss Alice. Did you guys all have a really good week? Last week, we learned our big verse for memory verse. We give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Psalm 107 verse 1. Let's show our new friends how we sing it. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Psalm 107 verse number 1 says, Puggles. In our Big Truth 4 series, We Give Thanks, we have three more truths until we finish our Big Truth 4 series. We learned that we can thank God for making us part of His family, for helping us know Him, for His creation, for providing for us, and for the Bible. Today, we are going to learn that we can thank God for people who care for us. In these two pictures, which picture shows someone taking care of the child? That's right, both of them. Can you name some people who care for you? Yes, those are all correct. They can be your mommies, daddies, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, and even teachers. God wants children to be loved and cared for. He knows how important it is to have someone who comforts you when you are crying and gives you food when you are hungry. The people in your life are there to help take care of you. The people who care for us have rules and tell us that we need to do because they love us. When we have people who care for us, our job is to obey them and follow the rules that they share with us. Today, we are going to learn the word obey. The Bible tells us that when we obey God, our life works best. Part of following God is learning to obey the people who take care of you. When we obey, it brings blessings to our lives. Blessings are the good things God brings into our lives because we are following and obeying Him. God gave us the people who care for us because he loves us and we can thank him for all these special, wonderful people in our lives. Well, Mr. Puggles, Miss Sydney, Miss Alice, and you boys and girls, what do we do at the end of class? We, we fold our hands and close our eyes and pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us the people who love and care for us. Thank you so much for giving us our families so that we can learn to obey. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, that was so much fun. I'm so glad that we learned about our families and the people that care for us. And I hope you guys all have a really good week. Bye. Do you have any questions, prayer requests, or just want to talk to us? Here are the ways that you can contact us. 
email us or message us on Instagram or Facebook. We're always excited to hear from you. Hey Puggles, here are the review questions. Why did God give us families? Are parents the only ones who care for us? And the bonus question, who can we thank for providing the people who care for us? And we'll go over this next week. Oh, and don't forget to continue to do your Puggles activity sheets and check out the links below for some other really fun, great activities. And remember to enjoy God's word together. Tune in next week where we give thanks. I thank God for my life. God made me. God made the world.